So I want to start with a little bit of review on the atmosphere of the moon. So um, why do some bodies retain an atmosphere and others don't? Uh, we did an exercise last time and saw that atmospheres are generally lost as a rule of thumb if six times the average molecular speed for some species of molecule in the atmosphere is greater than the escape velocity of the planet. And this average molecular speed is set by the equilibrium temperature of the planet, which depends on its distance from the sun. And the escape velocity for the planet is set by the planet's mass and its radius. So we can apply these ideas, these calculations to basically any body in the solar system to see whether we expect them to retain an atmosphere. Um, we also learned before that the moon has water uh, in permanently shadowed craters at its polar regions. And we wouldn't necessarily expect it elsewhere on the lunar surface based on what we've learned about atmospheres. Um, I'm gonna tell you about a new NASA discovery in a second that blows this idea out of the water. But first I want you to write a little story, just a few sentences explaining why you expect water ice in the permanently shadowed regions, but maybe not elsewhere on the sun, sunny parts of the lunar surface. Right, so in areas where the sun never hits the surface in permanently shadowed craters, we might expect that if there's any water ice that's been deposited there, for example, by impact from a comet, which contain a lot of water, then maybe we expect that water ice to stay in the lunar soil. Uh, but maybe we expect that in the sunlit regions of the moon that the sun would heat that water, uh, potentially vaporize it, and then because the moon has such weak gravity, um, that water vapor would be able to escape and not be retained in the atmosphere. So we would expect that the, you know, the sun would bake away, evaporate away all of that water in sun, sunny regions, and therefore we wouldn't find any water under the surface at, in any of those sunlit regions. And this is a reasonable expectation. This is exactly the argument that your textbook lays out. Um, but it turns out that must not be the whole story because on Monday, NASA made an important announcement about the moon, uh, which is that their SOFIA project, which is this spacecraft that uh, measures uh, lunar atmosphere, uh, it discovers water on the sunlit surface of the moon. So there is apparently water, not liquid water, and they're not quite sure whether it's uh, water in the molecular form or not, um, but there's water of some sort on the sunlit surface of the moon. Uh, you can learn more about how they do these measurements if you read their press release or even the nature paper, um, but this video that I have linked here is, is very accessible and, and lays out the story here. Um, these are all the, the scientists that are listed on the paper, and you can see many of them are from the University of Hawaii, um, with some from Johns Hopkins, NASA, Georgia Tech, and University of Colorado Boulder. So this is a you know, wide-ranging national collaboration uh, that found this new and strange finding. So they're not quite sure about what it means yet. There are various theories forming, but we have a new piece of evidence to account for in our theories of the moon.